It's been 50 years since her death, and Marilyn Monroe continues to be the muse for artists all around the world. Today I'm at Galeria Ca de Oro, surrounded by art pieces dedicated to this timeless Hollywood star. The opening reception was a success. It attracted admirers of the iconic figure and members of the Italian community who came to see the show, which was also exhibited in their homeland. We started this exhibition in Rome in June because Marilyn Monroe is born June 1st, and we had this exhibit in a famous palace in Rome, uh, and then we are here. In the gallery, you can find 28 art pieces, all of them creation from the imagination of 21 artists. We spoke to three of them who explained the symbolism behind their pieces. Leonardo Hidalgo explained he was inspired to portray Marilyn's personality, combined with a famous advertisement. He found a similarity between the girl used in the image of Copperton and how Marilyn would have looked as a child. With this plexiglass and a torch, I started to dissolve it and create lines of inner feelings of my own and profound inspired by the icon that was Marilyn. From there I had the idea of adding the black diamond because even though she is dead, she is still alive in time. Erica Calassini revived the spirit of Marilyn in a unique way by imitating Marilyn's gestures. She says she created this installation and performance because she wanted to see Marilyn alive among us. She wanted to represent her in a witty and ironic way. Calassini built this platform from recycled materials made out of the radiator from an abandoned car, recreating one of Maryland's most famous poses. Other unique pieces you can find at the exhibit are collectible Pepsi cans brought from Italy, two works by Andy Warhol, and a life-size sculpture of Maryland by the entrance of the gallery. The art exhibition will be open to the public until the 10th of October. For What's Happening Coral Gables, I'm Tanya Leeds.